came and showed us a hat and we were looking at it but it wasn't hers so we just felt like a little bit relieved but then he came out with a picture of a boot in the snow and he showed us and I was beside my sister my auntie my uncle and right when we saw that picture we knew it was hers <laughs> get it anymore what are the RCMP doing like are they doing something like like I know I like I talked to them I talked to the main investigator but seems to be telling me the same thing each time I talk to him we are working on it I assure you we are working on it like two years two years is too long it's, it's just something that you don't forget it's like on my mind every day like who could could have done this do I see this person? Is he around here? Is there a suspect? Do they have a suspect at all? Now, 
So I guess I'll stay here in New England for all So I guess they'll stay here in New England for all. Did you ever lose something that you thought you? are still out there that are capable to do that again or something. I wouldn't say I'm scared, it's just I have trust issues now. I barely go out. There's some people like I can't trust anymore. I don't know if it's just a feeling in my heart or something about them, just I can't trust people no more until I can find out who did this. There's like just some people I have to watch out for. Not watch out for, but like suspects that I heard of. And when I see them, I kind of just like, like watch them, see how they react when they see me because they must know that I'm her sister. 
This song is dedicated to the missing and murdered indigenous women. Mason Disu, our creator, bring them home. You're here in my heart 